Well, hi guys. I'm Robert, Jexpat Robert Rice, and welcome to my channel. So, before you go do anything else, please click that thumbs up and go down and go to the uh, subscribe button and subscribe. Uh, I really, really am pleased with the channel right now. I am over a thousand subscribers, which is something I thought would actually never happen. So I want to thank all my subscribers for checking in, uh, subscribing, uh, guys, you're gonna. This is wonderful to me. Actually, this is a prayer answer. So, what am I going to do today? Well, first of all, I woke up at 6 a.m. and uh, got went and got some coffee uh, and kind of, you know, just. Woke myself up for a little while. Uh, cleaned the kitchen a little bit. Uh, and then I went and got myself some breakfast. Uh, some, I got some uh, breakfast tacos uh, at a place called Laredo's. It's um, really, really good. And now I am on my way to go do laundry. Uh, later on today, I'm going to go get, well, in the morning, I'm going to go get my hair cut and shave off this. So, the beard is coming off today. So, uh, but the 30th is fast approaching, and I'm just going to go ahead and shave it off. I would really, because it's cold outside right now, it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can convert. All you got to do is Google uh, uh, temperature conversion and then you can type in 48 degrees Fahrenheit and compare it to Celsius and I'll tell you how cold it is. <coughs> so right now I'm on my way to the laundromat. There we go. It is raining today. It rained earlier, so you got that cold, cold rain. And uh, I go to this laundry mat here because you can get it all done at once, and in about an hour, be completely finished with uh, washing the clothes and drying the clothes. If you lay it out, well, today there's no sun and it's cold, so drying the clothes will take a very, 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 very long time. Uh, and that's why I like the laundry mat, because you can get it done in an hour and be finished with it. All right, so I'll get right back with you. Okay, as you can see, I got my clothes in here. It's mostly pants, blue jeans, things I use for work, and some shirts. I put in some long sleeve polo shirts uh, because the weather is getting really cool and uh, and it's not hot, so you know it makes it a lot. It, I won't be sweating so much. So, and here's what I'm going to use for the soap. These are called Tide Pods. It has a, uh, oh, what do they call that? It's uh, oxygenated right here. Um, and you got the soaps, different kinds of soaps that's mixed with it. Uh, it's a little expensive, but they work really, really well, especially with my pants because my pants are soiled from work. A lot of concrete because uh, I deal a lot with concrete so I'm gonna put those in there just like that and it's gonna cost me three dollars and fifty cents 
and so I'm gonna go get some quarters. So what I'm going to do is put in a $5 bill, just put it in the slot, and it gives you $5 and quarter. So the money goes in here, and uh, so I'm going to do that right now. All right, so um, it's telling me that the door is still open. So do that, it automatically turns on. I've got it on hot, and this is how much time, so 25 minutes basically to do the wash. All right, I'll get back with you later. Okay, you see how it's working. What it does, it takes it and, it and it rolls the clothes over each other. And with the soap, it uh, that's how the clothes get clean. And I'll tell you what, these kind of washers, right like this, are some of the best because the clothes come out so clean and, uh, and they look bright. So it's kind of like in the old days where you know, you would, well, for America, it'd be the old days where you hand washed everything and you just rub the clothes together and uh, dip them back and forth into the water and, and that would clean the clothes. Well, this does the same thing, but it's a constant moving and your arms don't get tired and uh, and you, uh, you, you get a good clean with this. You see how soapy it is, but you can, I can also tell that the soap is a little brown because that's from the cement dust that was all over my pants. So uh, now the clothes are being washed. I got 19 minutes remaining and then we'll put them in the dryer for about 38 minutes and they will be completely dry and I will have done everything within an hour. Okay guys, my clothes are here in the dryer, as you can see that. And I have the setting on high, and it's gonna be about 37 minutes, and then the clothes will be done. Actually, they'll probably be done sooner, but I always put it in for 38, 37 minutes, just to be sure, because most of my pants here are denim, and it takes a little longer to dry. So, we'll be back to you in 37 minutes. Well, okay, my, uh, my clothes are now dry.
done folding. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm going to uh, leave this place and then I'm going to go shave and then go get my hair cut and then get ready for work. Okay, well, I'm leaving the uh, laundry mat and I am heading back to my apartment. Uh, what are the advantages of going to a laundry mat other than doing it yourself? Well, there are several advantages. One is cost. Uh, it's no money off of your own personal water bill. And on your electric, if you have an electric dryer or a gas dryer for that, for that matter, uh, gas dryers are run by gas and, uh, <clears throat> you know, you're not paying for the electricity or the gas. Uh, that is one cost, you know, that it does. Other is time. Uh, I have been here, I was there at uh, less than an hour, you know, right at 25 minutes. And the clothes that I took to wash, and, uh, you know, it just took me an hour of time. Instead of taking an hour to hand wash, uh, you know, or longer, and then longer for the clothes to hang and dry. So there's that, uh, there is that, uh, that too. So you're saving time. You know, uh, I, I have friends in the Philippines who say I'm doing it the lazy way. Well, not so much. It's because what time I have, I need to take advantage of all the time I can get. So I'm uh, actually, you know, spending more time doing things I need to do. And those are the advantages of it. Uh, the disadvantages are, <clears throat> for example, if there's a holiday or something like that, and you need to wash clothes, they're closed. So you've got to be you got to be prepared for something in that nature. Uh, that is really the reason, big reason, uh, why I I will just do my laundry at the laundry mat. So, if anybody asks, that's the reasons why. And uh, so, I'm almost home. Then I'm going to go and get rid of this. And then go get my hair cut. It's uh, going on 11 o'clock. I've got to be at work in three hours. So... things that are just needing to be done because on Sunday my barber is closed and uh, uh, so you know I have to get it done today and anyways I'll talk to y'all later
So what do you think? Should I leave this? Okay, that's the first part. Second part is with an actual shave. And then I'll do that now and then uh, go to the uh, barbershop and get a hair. Okay, well, I decided I was going to do the actual shaving after I got the haircut, but the haircut is more important right now. Uh, it's been over a month since uh, I've cut my hair and... I'm going to head on over to the barber shop. Okay, well, I'm going over to the barber shop now and change my shirt because after the barber shop, it's time to go to work. Um, it's right across the street here. There we go. It's right across the highway here. This is a highway. It's uh 190 uh, It is not a national highway it is a Texas highway and I'm hoping they're open <coughs> You see those uh, orange and white things out there that's because they're They've been building sidewalks here for the last six months. As you can see, the nice white sidewalks. And they're still building them. Of course, they'll extend the road to the, the sidewalk also. Yeah, I got the... The open sign is there. So, they don't like me uh, recording while I'm in there. And that's their... their uh, that's their uh, prerogative, but uh, and I will respect that. So I'm gonna go in and get my hair cut. Okay, guys, what do you think? Good back to a good military haircut. 
uh, which is really cool, which uh, my barber told me about, is that uh, my next haircut will be free and gave me a card so that if he's not there and one of the other barbers is there, they'll know that it's going to be a free haircut. So that's pretty cool. For me, a haircut is $15. Um, so you can figure it out in pesos. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, the total cost for my laundry was five dollars that's uh, uh 350 for the uh for the wash and a dollar for the dry and uh well actually four dollars but uh, 450 so uh, the cost to me is a lot cheaper than if i were to do it if I were to do it at home or if I had a washer and dryer and did everything at home. So that would make it a lot cheaper. So there is another advantage as far as that's concerned. Well, guys, I got to go to work and uh, uh, it's nice for you to join me in my day uh, before work. I had to, to get a lot of things done and I did. And uh, we'll see you next time. I got another blog uh, from Princess and another one uh, from Noemi Joy. And uh, so uh, those two girls are just putting out the blogs, you know, and they are, they are some of your favorites. The, they always get a lot of attention when they do. And uh, so God bless you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you later.